got to see Rob. Ready, ready, ready. My sister. Guys, today we're going out and go see. Ready, 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 ready. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Trying to see your neighbor. Really excited. Really excited. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's get started. Welcome back to season three. I bet you didn't think I was ever gonna post another vlog. Well, I'm beginning to wonder myself. Sorry about the uh, really pathetic vlog performances this uh, this summer. I was really excited at the start of the summer. Just things got way too crazy, too busy. Got lots of footage, just didn't have time to edit any of it. But Things are a little bit slower now, so I'm hoping I'll be able to actually edit. I have a new iPad Pro, so I'm planning on doing my editing on my iPad Pro. So that should enable me to just edit wherever I'm at and hopefully stay on top of these vlogs heading into the fall here. So today is a big day. I've got just my normal work stuff. I'm on my way to work right now. And then tonight is our youth group costume party. So I'm really excited about that. There's just one problem. I don't have a costume. I don't know what I'm gonna be. I knew what I was gonna be, but wasn't able to get it. I ordered it on Amazon, and then it wasn't gonna come until Monday. So the party's Friday, tonight. So that wasn't gonna work. So I canceled that order, and I'm trying to find it in town, because my wife and my daughter are being uh, characters from from uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. My daughter's being the girl that blows up like a blueberry, and. My wife is being the mom of that daughter, so they're wearing like matching track suits or whatever. And I was gonna be Willy Wonka, and I had a Willy Wonka costume on order, but it it, it wasn't gonna be here in time. So I'm gonna try, There's I tried a store last night, they didn't have it. I'm gonna, there's a couple other stores I can try today and see if they have it. And if they don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to find something else, figure something else out. So that's something to do. And I just realized one of the stores I wanted to go to is right here on my way to work. So I'm gonna see if it's open and pop in and see if they have the costume I'm looking for. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, so I went into that store and didn't find, uh, didn't find what I was looking for. Didn't find any Willy Wonka costume. So I think at this point in the game, this late in the game, it's gonna be near impossible to find specifically a Willy Wonka costume and trying to piece one together isn't going to be easy either. So I'm shifting gears into just trying to figure out something else to be. I'm not going to be able to be in with the theme with Danelle and Victoria. So I need to figure out a different outfit. And I did, one thing I did get in that store was an idea. Um, I was trying to think this morning of a way I just, I got an electric scooter and I thought it'd be funny to somehow incorporate that into my costume, but I didn't know what it could be. But when I was in the store, I got an idea. They have a t-shirt that like has a biker dude, like a vest. So I thought it'd be kind of funny to either get that and then wear like a do-rag bandana on my head. I have tat sleeves at home. I could wear my tat sleeves and my, my uh, studded bracelets and go as a biker dude, but be going around on my scooter. That would be pretty funny. I think, I don't know, but it incorporates my scooter and it's a costume idea and it would be fairly easy to put together. So either I'll buy that shirt or I'm gonna go to this other Halloween store on my lunch break today and see if I can find maybe just a black vest and then I have a white t-shirt at home and anything there that might contribute to a biker, a biker dude. I don't know what else to call him, biker dude motorcycle enthusiast but I'll be on my scooter which I think will be funny so yeah that's where I'm at on the the costume caper now I got to get to work literally and work and get that work done but first on my way you know because I'm all about efficiency it's uh time to eat some breakfast I got I got a healthy breakfast to eat so I'm gonna eat that and get some energy for the day along with my Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew and Twinkies. That's where it's at. 
you know, I watch a lot of vlogs and videos and stuff on YouTube and all kinds of people are doing those like fruit smoothies, vegetable smoothies, whatever that have look like they just took lawn clippings from the yard and threw them in a blender and then they drink it. Ugh. It's all green and nasty looking and healthy and stuff. You know, and in, in, in a little way, it kind of makes me feel pathetic that I don't eat healthier. So, you know, just to keep a balance, I'm I'm here being an influence on those of us in the in the real world who eat real food and then aren't always the healthiest food. I'm, I'm here to make you feel better about yourself. Because there's some good stuff right here. Good stuff. All right, time to get to work. Get this stuff done. Many hours later. All right, so I got a good, good amount of work done this morning. Got the bulletins printed and some other things printed and a computer hard drive installed. And now I'm on my lunch break. I'm gonna try to find parts for my costume, for my scooter biker dude costume. And I'm here at the Spirit Halloween store. These stores pop up every year around around Halloween with costume supplies. So I'm gonna go in and see what I can find to create my biker, biker dude. All right, success. I got the shirt. The same shirt that the other place had, but it was $15 cheaper at this store. The other store was selling it for 35 bucks. It was only 20 bucks at this store, so bonus. So then that freed up the budget to get other accessories like gloves and the bandana. And I didn't even realize it, but the shirt already has tattoo sleeves attached to it. Now I don't have to mess with my tattoo sleeves, but I do have my wrist wrist bracelets I'll probably wear. So now I got to deck out my scooter with some maybe some bandanas hanging from the handlebars or something. I think it'll be funny. But at any rate, it's a costume and that's another thing checked off my list for today. Now it's time to go get some lunch and then uh, go back to go back to church and keep working. Lots yet to do, so let's keep rolling. So I had a sudden thought. I wonder if these gloves would fit me and they do. It's very tight, but the, the material is kind of stretchy, so that's good. I was worried when I took them out. I thought, there's no way. They're way too small, but they stretch. So I might not have any feeling in my fingertips at the end of the night, but hey, it's the price you pay, you know? You do it for the, you do it for the kids, right? So uh, I'm having trouble. I can't get the glove off because it's really tight. So I'm gonna have to go through the drive-thru. You. I think she was looking at my glove. I can't get it off. It's like super tight. Can't get the fingers off. Uh. Feel judged. Have a nice day. All right, thank you. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get the glove off without ripping it. It's time to go back to eat my lunch and see if I can get this glove off. I can't get, the fingers are so tight. Later. All right, here it is. Here is my final costume. I think it turned out pretty good. I got the gloves, got tat sleeves, got my biker vest, got the chains, got the hairy chest, and, and I've got my ride right here. This is my ride. Born to be wild, man. So, got my work done. Now I'm up at the house, the youth house, and 
We decorated it last night with the other sponsors, and now we wait for the kids to arrive. Danelle and Victoria are on their way, hopefully, and the kids will be arriving in about a half an hour. And now while I wait, I'm going to uh, take my trusty ride for a little spin here around the track. Try it out. Should be fun. <laughs> Thank you.
Guys, put it on the camera. Sorry, camera. John, we're done.